Have you heard the notion that humans use only 10% of their brains? It's a common theory, but actually it isn't really true. The average human brain is full and actively engaged with all of its parts. However, that doesn't mean it's unable to do more. By creatively adapting new pathways through skills, knowledge and experiences, you may find hidden potential you never knew existed. But how do you do that? Isn't your brain already busy enough? Well, yes, the brain never stops doing its job in some capacity. Even during sleep, the brain is refreshing and processing the information it's taken in. The human brain has approximately 100 billion neurons. It's basically the control center of everything we think, do and say. By sending and receiving chemical and electrical signals throughout the body, our brain keeps us alive and helps us experience our world both inside and out. Science can tell us what parts of the brain are associated with certain thoughts and actions. For example, the cerebrum, brainstem, cerebellum, and cerebral cortex all have specific functions. The brain is divided into two hemispheres that communicate with each other through an organ called the corpus callosum. Many other glands and organs complete our amazing brains and allow us to experience our human existence. Yes, it's complicated and very, very busy. But that's the beautiful thing about it. It loves to be busy. And if you don't give it enough to do, it often starts to ruminate thoughts just to have something to think about. The untapped potential is the ability of your brain for growth and adaptation. New pathways can be created. So even though your brain is always active, there's always room for more. The question is, how do you make those new connections? As you search for the path to your unleashed genius, the answer might be hiding in plasticity. What's plasticity got to do with it? Neuroplasticity is the way the brain is able to reorganize pathways and create new connections. Neuro refers to neurons, and plasticity refers to the brain's ability to change. Functionally, the brain can move some tasks from a damaged part of the brain to an undamaged area. Structurally, it can change physically as a result of things like learning. The brain's ability to grow and change is one of its most amazing features. To get the best out of your brain, you need to treat it well. You might not have given much thought to it, because the brain just does its job without much exertion on our part. But there are things you can do to keep your brain in the best shape possible. Exercise is one of the best things you can do to promote a healthy brain. At least 2.5 hours of moderately intense cardio is recommended each week for most people. Walking, strength training and yoga are some other activities that can fill in the spaces between heavier workouts. A sedentary lifestyle can diminish your brain's capacity to perform well. So remember to get up and get moving for optimal brain health. Good restful sleep. Turn off your cell phone and other electronics at least an hour before going to sleep. Use calming techniques like meditation or slow breathing to relax your body at bedtime. Having a room that is clear of clutter, lights, and outside noise can create an environment conducive to peaceful sleep, along with a regular sleep routine. Laughter and enjoying social time allows you to relax, which produces chemicals in your brain that induce happiness and relaxation. Minimize or avoid stress as much as possible. Laughter and fun can be good for your brain, but chemicals produced by stress can be harmful. So choose your thoughts and activities carefully. Eat good, healthy food. You know the old saying, garbage in, garbage out. Your brain will be affected by what you put into your body. So be mindful of what you consume. You really are what you eat. Do you want to be a juicy peach or a sugary fat-filled donut? How you treat your brain is key to finding your hidden potential and genius status. Your brain is ready and willing to take you there but it's up to you to find the way. Train the brain. So how do you find your way to the holy grail of hidden potential? Train the brain. Anything that stretches your mind above your familiar routine and makes the brain work at something new is a step in the right direction. Boosting your cognitive abilities and mental agility are helpful tools in making new connections. 
brain training exercises are a great starting point. Crossword puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, and word games are all great brain builders. Play games, card games, and games that involve other people are a double win. You get some social time as well. Learn a new language or learn to play an instrument. Take a class. Do you like to cook? Want to know more about a hobby? Build a model. Knit. Learn a new computer skill. Working your memory is another way to train your brain. The University of St. Augustine for Health Sciences recommends memory techniques that may help. Organize information into an outline and highlight important points. Use the chunking method, which involves grouping similar things together. Make associations, like remembering someone's name with a color or object. Mnemonics are a fun way to remember certain facts or bits of information. For example, to recall the lines in a treble clef, use the phrase, every good boy does fine. The first letter of each word corresponds to the notes of each line. E, G, B, D, F. Likewise, the spaces between can be remembered by using the word face. F, A, C, E. As you find your way down the path of greater mental agility, you'll most likely have less brain fog, increased awareness and energy. When you stay on this path, you may find your hidden potential rising. Unlock your genius with creativity. The brain is made for creativity. You might say you don't have the time or energy to be creative, but when you think about it, you're creating all the time. One great catalyst for creation is boredom. Allowing your mind to become bored can spark creativity. In her book, Big Magic, author Elizabeth Gilbert wrote, the universe buries strange jewels deep within us all and then stands back to see if we can find them. Brainstorming is another way to help your thoughts flow. Write down all the things you can think of when looking for something new to do or learn, or when trying to solve a problem. Often, one idea will lead to another. Even if it seems impossible, write it down. When you embrace curiosity and try looking at things with a new perspective, you become open to new ideas. Overcome your limiting beliefs. Believing in yourself is important when you've put your sights on the next level. There may be times of discouragement, but don't allow doubt to cloud your vision. You are most likely closer to success than you think. Reframe negative thoughts by changing the way you look at challenges. If your brain is telling you something is too hard, you can reframe that thought by telling yourself that it may be difficult, but you can do it. When you continue to take action, step by step, you gain confidence and competence. Ignore negative self-talk. Remember how far you've come and don't give up. There will be setbacks in any new endeavor, but that's not the time to quit. Learn from mistakes and failure, because these two travel companions lead you to better understanding. A failed attempt is just a signpost that lets you know you took the wrong turn. Athlete Travis Rice said, We'll never know our full potential unless we push ourselves to find it. The hidden potential of your brain is like buried treasure, just waiting for you to discover it. When you create new neural pathways through learning, growth, and adaptation, you may find yourself becoming more of who you are meant to be. You never know what genius awaits you until you take the first step and try something new. Wake up your brain and discover the secrets of your hidden potential. Would you like a two-page PDF summary of this video? Click here and I'll send it over to you. Thank you for watching and have an awesome week.